Hey, greetings YouTube. Performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I have a Recar Tandem Air. And this is, um, this is, yeah, it's R30. This is a brilliance. Um, let's see exactly. Uh, well, we can see that it was a 2022 model. It's an R30D8. And what that breaks down into is 30th revision, D for deluxe, 8th revision <laughs> um, of the 30th revision. Yeah, exactly. So this is in here for what I believe is maybe a faulty hall sensor. I'm not sure. The customer says it shuts off. I can't get it to shut off at all by itself. Let me demonstrate that. Headphone warning. So yeah, it seems to be all right. Uh, Everything kind of looks good on this. So we're gonna just gonna pull it apart and explore. It's already been into a authorized dealer twice. I am not an authorized dealer. Um, however, I am factory trained and I have worked for authorized dealers. So a lot of times these problem childs just kind of head my way. So let's see what is here and what we got here. Already the base plate screws are really, really loose. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, that's right, this is an R30. It's got two extra screws there. All right, first thing we're gonna do is just make sure the brush roller is all right. Yeah, it actually looks all right. Um, that seems all right. Let's flip her over and see what we have. The good news is most of these screws, despite there being a thousand of them, are all about the same. All right, let's take this off and have a glance inside here. Well, first thing we're gonna do is just look for the obvious things. Well, I already see some burning on the circuit board or corrosion, I'm not sure what this is. Hope you guys can see that, but yeah, there is something on there. That is not particularly great. <sighs> And of course the hall sensor, which is this guy right here, all goes through this board, then it goes back up and gets distributed to another circuit board inside the machine. Um, so right away, yeah, that's pretty sus. I mean, that stuff is just, I don't know what that is, but it's its really on there. And it, I don't know if it got wet or peed on by an animal. Let's see, yeah. So there's more corrosion on the back of the board. So right away we know we have a board problem. Now I guess this could have come from the factory like that as well. That could have just been, they attempted to stabilize this with epoxy actually looking at this board now. Um, and cool thing is uh, we have a bunch of random buttons without documentation. I was talking to another dealer and we actually don't know what these are supposed to do. So I'm gonna just uh, plug it in, turn it on, see what happens. Start pressing buttons here, why not? Well, that was educational. It looks like uh, they are labeled correct that there's a jam sensor there, and then I'm not sure what the other ones do. Again, uh, they've changed this up since I've gotten factory training on this, unfortunately. Um, real fascinating uh, setup here, but that board is, and the part number is blatantly put on there, uh, will need to be replaced. Now, fun fact is Tacony doesn't like just having parts accounts. Um, I tried to get a parts account with Tacony and they were not about that. So, anyways, this is what needs to be, let's see, oh, there we go. And it looks like the ground wire, this is 
This is why I don't like Tacony products. Just take a look here. Uh, yeah, it looks like the crown wire is part of... I don't know what the hell this is. That's... This is such nonsense. Um, let me grab a... Give it a quick bris here. Uh... Yeah, that does not want to come apart. Okay. So, yeah. That is the part. So, we'll find that part. And that means we need to check the other boards. The other thing about these is the filters are really hard to come by now for this. Um, it used to be the EnviroCare, who was the uh, original OEM supplier, made them available. Um, and then at some point, Kony got mad at them and gave them a cease and desist. And now we can no longer get filters unless you're getting them directly from them on our website. So. I guess the other thing is uh, they switch their bag styles uh, without clear documentation so that's fun as well. So pull that off that bag was completely full. I'm used to doing it this way so we're gonna do it this way. will be on a little tight just give it a good whack and yep once you take these circles off uh, just like a Hoover concept you take this off and oh that clear housing is new huh wonder when they start doing that oh so Let's get into the myth that these are made in the U.S. Because uh, you can clearly say, ooh, that is made, uh, well, that's a city in China, isn't it not? Let's see where this one's made. Um, there's no markets on there. That's definitely. And now let's get to the last piece of questions that we need to know about, which is, where was this made and is this bad? And yes, there's corrosion there. And corrosion there. So I'm going to say this was not the customer's fault. And this is a, yet another faulty board. And anybody who builds custom computers will be just very familiar with this uh, ATX connector that's here. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's fully populated too there's no reason a vacuum should have an atx connector in it um yeah you can ooh, yeah you can see the physical damage on this board i'll point it out real quick you have uh some melted spots there that guy is not happy and then when we get to the back side we can see that same sort of corrosion that we saw on this board forming here so oh we got a transistor or connector or something that's connector okay that's not soldered on all the way. Um, again, this uh, board is doused in epoxy, so there's no repairing it. This is Tacony Corporation, um, NAVA, uh, M A I N B R D, whatever that is. We'll Google that. Yep, so this guy needs circuit boards. Assuming these motors are actually going to be okay uh yeah everything else looks okay the switch is good right there that's another thing that can fail so yeah we'll go ahead and uh, contact the customer i'll uh, have to source these boards somewhere because they're only tacony parts uh I'll probably find those on the internet somewhere Anyways, so yeah, that's what's wrong with this machine. Well, sad news, folks. It looks like uh, this circuit board is on back order. So four to six weeks before it can even be uh, ordered. But probably will be another revision of this board, hopefully, that fixes this. Um, however, the customer doesn't really want to wait that long. And, you know, I don't blame them. So the good news is this all has a happy ending which means this vacuum 
is actually not going to get fixed uh, at the moment, and the customer is just going to replace it with a SIBO dart, which does everything this does uh, without all the nonsense. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you've had to repair tandem airs, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section what your thoughts are on this. Um, you know, maybe once the part comes available, maybe the customer will want to repair it then. But until then, it's pretty much the end of this video. We're going to go ahead and just do a quick montage of uh, me reassembling this.